Welcome back to Commercial Finance Experts Academy. My name is Stuart Trung, and today's video I wanted to touch base on something that has just actually come up occasionally every now and then. But uh, one of the broker had, that I've uh, connected with asked me a question. Uh, so uh, one of the branch mobile market specialists just told me that I cannot charge a fee to the client, and he was going, he was baffled, but. Everything that you've been teaching and everybody is saying that they're able to do this. What's going on? Now the answer to that question, a quick answer would be She's incorrect, but let's look at the reason why The person that he contacted the market show that he contacted the mobile specialist said you cannot do this to the client and He's going if I refer to you. I, I can't charge the client how do I get paid, right? Well, short answer to that is, go find another person, okay? But let's find out why she's saying this. Simon Sinek says the best, right? Start with why. And that is something else I want to talk about another day. The reason why, why the MMS said no charging fee. You can't do this at the Lloyd's office because a statement of account head office is going to review it and they'll ask me what's going on here. And that's the point of it all. What happens is if the client gets charged a fee, what typically happens is this, they, could, they either don't understand what it is when the lawyer says, hey, RBC doesn't ever charge a fee or CIBC doesn't charge a fee. Why are you getting charged a fee? And at that point, the client says, I don't know. So here's, here's, here's why things go wrong and things go badly is that nothing is transparent. When I, in other videos I've, I've mentioned to you about, you need to be transparent with your client and really educate them about the process of why you're charging the fee. And it's not RBC advisors charging the fee, right? But head, head office doesn't see that. So the other thing to say is that, hey, there's a fee being charged to the client. Now, if I was a head office guy, some, some head headhunter or RBC, they can look down and say, this is not right. We should not be charging the fee to the client. Does that make sense? So now the reason why the MMS is afraid that you're going to charge a fee and it's going to show them the payoff is saying is that is the big part of it. But the other thing is she, she doesn't understand how it works and how we get paid, of course. And it's strange enough that perhaps this is something new, but I've been dealing with RBC, BMO, CABC. Some of them said this, some of them doesn't say that. But when I meet with a regional sales manager, sales manager or the area manager, the story is different. They don't mind me doing it. They said, you know, by all means, as long as you're not kicking back to our mobile market specialist and you're not getting a fee from the MMS or the home finance advisor, that is fine. You cannot get a fee from our mobile people and our mobile people cannot get anything from you. So that's the question. I believe the, the difficulty and challenge is that there is collusion and that uh, the, the mortgage mobile specialist is getting a kickback from you as a mortgage broker for getting this deal done. They don't like that. They don't want anything to do with that. Okay. So as long as you have that agreement in place that they're not getting paid and you're not getting paid from their uh, completion of uh, approval of the file. Aside from that, if you're more transparent with them, they're more than happy to do business to you. Uh, you know, I, I have on countless occasions even talked to all the branch managers that I visit. They're fine with it. They, they don't care. As long as you do not kick back to their guys and they, their guys don't have any kick back to you, it's fine. There. The hands are clean. Your hands are clean. You got record of it. You got, and you have disclosure statements. Everything's pretty clear laid out. Especially we have we have the form 10 with our provincial government uh, that states it clearly who gets paid and how much right so there is no It's transparency. That's what they want, right? So that is basically it and I've always talked to Different mobile specialists over the years even from the same lender and yes, yeah, some of them say they don't like it when you charge fee That's fine. There's literally hundreds more of those guys out there just find the one who understand the process, who trusts you, and you earn their trust, and that's all it is. If you do the job properly, 
you'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, I understand there are some people even in our community, in the mortgage world community, even opposed to this idea. And for whatever reason, I don't understand either. Everywhere around the world you go see, in North America, perhaps it's a different thing in Canada, but in US, this is common. Australia, this is common. Europe, UK, this is a common way of doing business. You refer to the bank, you charge the clients a fee, it's consulting fee, whatever you want to charge, whatever you want to call it. Right? This is normal. In all of Asia, this is 100% how they do business over there. Right? They don't have a sales force like we have here in Canada and the United States. And even in the United States, most of my brethren down there, mortgage brokers charge a fee to the clients. Whether it's residential or commercial, it doesn't matter. They charge a fee. Yes, sometimes they even get paid a little bit from the bank too, but they still charge the clients a fee. Yes, you need to be fair to your client when you're charging a fee though. Right? All is fair in war and love. Now, with regards to the mobile sales, sales force, some of them are very new, some of them are, are hesitant about doing any business with a mortgage broker. Don't send them business. You're asking for trouble. Okay? Because Typically, those people don't know how to explain to the client and don't know how to confirm with the client that, hey, we're not getting paid by Sewell for referring you to us, we're helping you. I'm getting paid by my CABC head office or my BMO head office. Sewell is not paying me and I'm not paying him. Whatever you guys, that's up to you. If he's charging you a fee, make sure you clarify with them up front how much it is. So be up front with it. With all your client, always, always, always be upfront. Tell them from day one, tell them from day two, day three, before and after meeting the mobile specialist so that they understand what they're getting into. So as long as you're upfront, as long as you're transparent about everything, there should not be any issue at all. And I've been doing this for years and having any issues or any hiccups along the way. Okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me directly at sue at sharingbanksecrets.com and if you're interested in learning more about the full course that I teach about how and who to get in touch with to get your jobs done better and easier for you and your client, check out at commercialfinancingmastery.com and if you like this video and other videos, subscribe to my channel. If you like this one specifically, click the like button. I appreciate it. Any feedback is greatly appreciated as well. And if you want something to talk about something in, in the future videos, by all means, connect with me, email me, text me, put the comments below. Take care, have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.